morning. Good morning. Good morning. We'll start this beautiful morning with a word of prayer. Oh God, powerful and compassionate, you shepherd your people faithfully, feeding and protecting us. Heal each of us and make us a whole people that we may embody the justice and peace of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, and this family of God says, Amen. 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 Good. Say amen. That's right. You're going to be. You need to say amen. All right, guys. I know we all know the first verse to Jesus Loves Me. So, with your best Sunday school voices, let's sing. Okay. <laughs> Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures, and he leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O oh Lord, and you guide me along right paths for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Here ends our psalmity. <laughs> oh, I wasn't talking about King David now. The Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. The Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. It's weird without a bulletin, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then because so many people were coming and going, they did not even get a chance to eat. So Jesus said to them, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But when they got there, many had seen that they were leaving and recognized them and went ahead. And when Jesus saw them, he had compassion on them because like the sheep, they without a shepherd. And so Jesus began teaching them many things. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Christ. That was good. <laughs> Peace and rest to all God's children who gathered this morning in all this majesticness that God so wonderfully and lovingly created. The apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all that they had taught and done. Then because so many people were coming and going, they didn't even have a chance to eat. So Jesus said to them, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and rest. Bless you. <laughs> this scene reminds me of our own children coming home from kindergarten in the first day. And whether they had a great first day or a horrible first day, they just can't wait to share it with you and tell you all about what happened on that day. Everything from the name of the snake for the classroom to how many times Billy Bob threw up on the 
bus that day. They can't wait to share it. Ah, and it is good to hear the excitement in their voices. But you, as the good parent, you see that in your child there is exhaustion. They are just overcome with it throughout their whole body. And you know the best thing for that little person is to give them some rest. Away from the stimulations of the day and distractions and rest. Rest. The best four-letter word ever. <laughs> Jesus knew, too, the best thing for his disciples was some alone time to rest and reflect. In the 23rd Psalm, we also heard how God, as our shepherd, has made for us a way to slow down, to rest and reflect. God leads us to green pastures and still waters. And as we sit here this morning in all that God has made, we need to look around at the rest God has provided for us this weekend. Through screaming and whining children, an attempt to rain on our parade of a community breakfast, through crises of locked trailers and burnt bricks once called potatoes, through all of it, we found rest, rest in the company of each other's tales of previous camping trips or how our husbands were being hit on by girls in a candy store <laughs> or the giggles of a little boy and girl tying bunny ears with pastor strings on her hoodie. In all of that, there was rest, rest from the everyday rest from the tedium of daily chores like bathing and making your bed <laughs> rest from the bombardment of electronic devices and cell phones and television intrusions rest from a world that judges who we are who we love how we look or where we've come from we, these past four days, have been given the gifts of lying in green pastures, walking by still waters. We receive the waters of life on our face and for some of us down our sleeves as rain greeted us on Saturday morning. But even in the rain, when more work was made to keep fires burning and the kitchens dry, there was also a rest in that we were all in it together as community, fellowshipping with laughter and food. We have been given the gift of rest this weekend, a gift I hope that you will take home with you and keep till tonight's end. I know when we all get home, there's much work to do, campers to be unpacked and vehicles to unload, laundry to do and work to prepare for the next day. But when you smell the smoke in those clothes that you're all going to smell, remember how fun it was to sit by the campfire and visit and eat cobbler and taste homebrewed beer and the fun that we had as one. And when you see all that extra food that didn't get eaten up here because we had such an abundance that we shared, smile and be thankful. You didn't have to cook as much. <laughs> but most importantly, dear ones, remember God gave us the gift of rest. Rest of the green pastures the still waters, and a shepherd who leads us when we can't go alone and who guides us along when we have found our legs to walk again. We too are Jesus' disciples, and he calls us to rest so that when we awaken from our rest, we can be so much more for him every day. Amen. Amen. All right, Rena's gonna try and lead us in another song. Okay. I won't praise this time. Okay. The <laughs> only problem is I forgot to save me a page. Here. Well, who are you gonna sing? You can try. Dog?
Oh, they're going to have a three-way up here. <laughs> All right. So we're going to sing the Church is One Foundation. We know we all know it. We just have to remember that we know it. But I promise you we know it. All right. You ready, sweet pea? Here we go then. Church is one foundation is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water Son and the 
the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth, and the hosts of heaven, we praise your holy name. Holy, mighty, and merciful Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. In great love you sent to us Jesus, your Son, who reached out to heal the sick and suffering, who preached good news to the poor, and who on the cross opened his arms to all. And forgot to open the bread. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Molly! She's praising! betrayed our Lord Jesus took bread and he gave thanks and he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying take and eat this is my body and it is broken for you do this for the remembrance of me and again after supper our Lord took the cup <laughs> okay, he gave thanks and he gave it to all to drink saying this cup it is a new covenant for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his death, the resurrection, and ascension, we await his coming in glory. Now pour out upon us the spirit of your love, O Lord, and unite the wills of all who share this heavenly food, the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now, as you are able, join one with another as we offer up the words that our Heavenly Father has given us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Excellent. God said, let the children come, all and everyone. And we are certainly God's children, his sons and daughters brought together on this beautiful Sabbath morning to share in the feast and foretaste of things to come. So and I invite you all to come share in this meal the bread of life and the cup of blessing. Come as you figure it out amongst yourselves. <laughs> all right, so I need Austin to come up here. And I would ask if... Dwayne, are you comfortable serving communion with me? Or are you not there yet? All righty, very nice. Travis. <laughs> all right, so baby, this is what we're going to do. So all everybody listen. I'm going to give them some bread, and they're going to get it blessed, and they're going to eat it. And you, you are going to hand them a cup one by one. Hold on to the whole thing, my darling. But don't put your fingers in it, because i got to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, my dear. You are the fancy cran great pourer. <laughs> we have more, so if the cup gets a little fuller, then it's no big deal. All righty? Yep. All righty. Here we go. You ready? You gotta stay here. No, 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 no. You just stand right here next to Travis. So everybody can see how handsome you are this 
morning. It's all good. All right, figure it out. <laughs> Carol, take it, eat the body of Christ broken for you. <laughs> Leo, take and eat to the body of Christ broken for you. Okay. Alexis, take and eat. This is the body of your Lord Jesus Christ who died on the cross just for you. For the forgiveness of all your sins. Go on. And this beautiful child that God says. <laughs> Take and eat to the body of Christ broken for you. Duke, take and eat the body of Christ broken for you. Kayla, this is the body of your Lord Jesus Christ who died on the cross just for you. For the forgiveness of all your sins forever and ever. And this beautiful daughter of God says, We'll see Austin. Shall take and eat the body of Christ broken for you. Michael, take and eat the body of Christ broken for you. Isabel, this is the body of your Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross just for you. Thank <laughs> you. 